Habaz Zeki is a senior Palestinian official and member of the Fatah Central Committee. He currently acts as a special envoy to Arab states and China. Our own uh, Mohammed Al Qasim had the opportunity to sit down with him in Ramallah. Here's an excerpt. They are scrambling. I mean, does it make sense? Okay, what is the alternative? This will open the gates of hell on them. I'm telling you, I'm telling you today that people bite their fingers and regret the loss of chances for peace when the drumbeat called everyone to Al-Aqsa. And with me uh, right now here in the studio is uh, Mohamed Al-Qasim, I-24 News correspondent and analyst. Good evening. Thank you very much uh, for coming. You. So, um, Hamad, uh, were you, uh, let's say, um, you went and you got out from this interview in a positive, on a positive note or on a negative note? Well, look, Lucy, we've been talking to a lot of Palestinian officials in the past few months, and I can tell you right now that the Palestinian Authority, uh, Fatah, Hamas, and everyone within the Palestinian territories is in disarray. The Palestinian Authority believes that it's left out, that the Palestinian issue is not the main issue that the world used to uh, take, you know, try to resolve. The Palestinian-Israeli conflict isn't the main conflict that the world really right now is interested in resolving. They have Syria, they have Yemen, they have the Iranian-Saudi issue now. And the, the United States, the main uh, peace broker between these two parties, uh, it's, a, it's an election year, presidential election year, and it's really very busy to look into the, uh, the, the, this conflict now. The Palestinian men <clears throat> and women are not starting to ask some questions on the streets? They have. They have. And the, the Palestinian Authority feels uh, the pressure. President Abbas definitely feels the pressure that the Palestinian uh, people and uh, how they look at the authority uh, isn't in a positive way. His popularity has sinked in the last few months. He knows that. And he is taking steps trying to alleviate uh, the pressure off of him as well as the Palestinian Authority. I can tell you that he, one of the reasons why he called um, the, the, the speech yesterday an important speech is just to show the, the, the Palestinian people that he's not out of uh, touch with them. There was really not much uh, within the speech. It was somewhat of a recycled speech yesterday. Very few uh, things here and there that uh, looked new. But it's a repackaged speech. President Abbas is trying to uh, make the Palestinian issue and himself relevant back again uh, in the region and the world. You know, I'm seeing uh, the situation. I, I heard him and I heard uh, President Mahmoud Abbas saying what he said uh, yesterday. We're seeing that the Palestinian issue is off the table in the Arab world. It's also off the table of the Israeli, uh, let's say, uh, table, an Israeli priority. And we're looking at the current situation of Mahmoud Abbas. We're seeing the wave of terror. Where the Palestinian Authority is headed? Who is trusting who there? Who is doing what there? And what as I, are the... I, as I said at the beginning, there is somewhat, uh, uh, the Palestinian Authority is somewhat of a disarray right now. The Palestinian House needs to be organized. There are too many uh, people now are trying to put themselves and uh, stage themselves as the next uh, uh, president of the Palestinian Authority. They're trying to kind of uh, set themselves up to replace uh, President Abbas if he passes or if he chooses to step down. President Abbas made it clear yesterday that the Palestinian Authority will not dissolve. It will not be uh, just, uh, uh, it will not disappear. But at the same time, there are about four or five strong uh, Palestinian officials who are uh, vowing uh, to, to replace him as soon as the opportunity uh, rises. No, uh, in one word, the things that they're telling you on camera are the same things that they're telling you off camera? You know how uh, politicians. <laughs> how is it, Thank you very much for this.